Well, shit. That. Oh, you you think they're all right, right? They've got to be all right. Uh, my my sister has a condition that impairs her ability to swim. Is, does she just not know how to swim? Uh. Oh no, she has she has metal hand. She has the metal. I I also think on top of that, yes, yeah, she also does not know how to swim. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> I could have, I could have taught her. All she had to do was ask. Like, <clears throat> Emil <laughs> rushes forward and places himself up against the glass, like looking through another rivulet of frost, almost forming beneath one of his hands. He, um, he sort of like squints through. He's like, I don't, I don't see her down there. No, like, I, hmm. You remember? Uh, Here, just let me check from this angle. A little while ago, when um. She was, uh, drowning in that river when we burnt down that small village, um... Oh, right, yes, when she was lying, like, face down in it. Face down, and we had yeah. n- uh, no idea about whether or not she was, What uh, have you guys been doing? <laughs> oh, it has been a time. <laughs> ah, right, um... <clears throat> Emil sort of turns around and, uh, again, nods curtly, he's like, um... I believe, uh... This little escapades organizer was also washed away by the tides. Um, this is a little awkward. Uh, he adjusts his glasses. <laughs> so, are you, um, a, a, a beta, beta team? <laughs> Zeta team? Wait, is that, did, did, I, did we have team names? I don't know. <laughs> oh. I mean, why wasn't I consulted? Because <laughs> I would do something way no. cooler than Greek letters. It's, uh... She, like, moves his way over and, like, sort of fidgets awkwardly. You're here to assist us to, uh, with the retrieval of the Staff of Life, correct? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Gregor oh. and I have taken okay, a okay. more, um, direct approach, as oh. you might describe it. A more uh-huh. warlike approach. Mm, yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and as for team names, I don't recall there being anything other than, I think we were just backup. Okay, hmm, backup team. Interesting. It's not bad. So, so I guess the cavalry. Ooh, cavalry sounds good. Oh, the cavalry's good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So wait, so who's the horse? And I did, well, Mercy did carry me partway through, so. <laughs> I, no, no one is going to describe me as a horse. Well, no, Mercy, you are an armored war horse. You also <laughs> carried that guy that we knocked out, so. Like for a while. What have you guys been doing? Yes, <laughs> what, 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 what? <laughs> oh, you know, cracking skulls. Mm-hmm. More of that. Oh, actually, important detail. Gregor fought a tornado in one. Really? Oh, yeah. No, it was pretty impressive. Wow. I Yeah, it, was, it wasn't your traditional tornado, but... It counts. I think I'll count it. <laughs> <laughs> this, it had I'm, bones, it had sentience. I think it's worth more. I am so fascinated as to what constitutes a non-traditional tornado. Gregor, you're going to have to sit down with me. Tell me this... All of this later on, so I can write it down for posterity. Well, at the rate we're going, you'll probably see it soon enough. Oh, oh, it's not- the, the tornado's still here, then? They are following us, yes. They plural? What do you- what do you mean following Or is that a you? singular they? Oh, it's <laughs> plural. Oh, okay, that's right. not great. You know how, like, a wildfire follows you, like it's not actually chasing you, but it's definitely <laughs> chasing you and coming after you and going to burn yeah, you? Yeah, and it reaches out its fiery fingers to toast your buns. Mm-hmm, and it whispers, <laughs> it whispers sweet nothings in your ear, trying to get you to open the door. <laughs> Singes your nose hairs while you smell its uh, delicate smoky scent. Yep. Yeah, okay, it seems like you get the situation. <laughs> I don't! <laughs> yeah, I might, I might need to ask some clarifying details. <laughs> where, where exactly, where did you grow up? And how does it sound, how does it sound worse than Free Arc? I mean, this isn't normal stuff I'm dealing with. The wildfires I, I grew up with were, you know, not so sentient. R- right. Um, a lot more tragic. I think we should try to find the location that this sort of uh, connects to. I think that's wise. Like, if it's draining somewhere, oh, our companions might have... So, this device was clearly meant to move... The goods that were trapped in here and uh-huh. put them somewhere else. Oh. So they're probably caught in like a big string. I, or something. I assumed it was like an anti thief trap or something, but maybe it's maybe it's just both both of those things at the same time. I'm sure it was designed with safety right. in mind. Mmm. 
how about we search for the other end of this very quickly? Right, 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 very quickly. <laughs> but I haven't seen the fish yet. <laughs> oh, you, uh, come along and just grabs it. <laughs> Give it another couple million years, Chardonnay. Oh my god. I don't think we have that kind of time. No, we really don't. <laughs> you guys rush ahead, hot on the tail of your companions as they disappear down the drainage system. As you progress, you make your way deeper into the bank, where, uh, as you sort of, like, clear the threshold, you just hear the eruptive sounds of violence on the other side, spells and gunshots, one after the other, traveling, resounding off of the halls of the bank. I mean, that sounds like our party. Are there wizards casting gunshot? <laughs> <laughs> so, as you enter this room, you throw open the door and take one step inside as you see the area in front of you sort of alight with projectiles. Uh, gouts of large green flame are thrown from the necromancer's side, and in return, large oily flames are thrown back from the Alarani side as they uh, throw repurposed burning material over to the necromancers on the far side. It doesn't seem like anyone's noticed you yet. It seems like they're firmly set on each other. And you understand why. Both parties are taking cover behind this almost chest-high segment of, uh, tall grass. It seems that they're <laughs> utterly unable to hit each other so long as they- as this little makeshift barricade is placed between the two of them. To the left, you see an Alarani structure sort of spiraling away into the distance, the average drudgery disappearing just beyond your line of sight. And on the right, you can recognize Karabi in construction. The question so, is, what do you do? <laughs> oh god, what the fuck do we do? So, here's one positive aspect. Everyone's using magic, so it's fair game for us, right? Like, what's even the point of, oh, like, trying to hide that? That's a fantastic- well, what if they have, like, special magic badges that let them- Like, a license to- a license to, uh, cast. Why would we need it in the first place? <laughs> hey, I know you- Oh wait, no, I did- <laughs> Okay, go for it! <laughs> You roll up, to, are you rolling up to the necromancer just like, hey? <laughs> yeah, I combat roll up, I'm like, hey, keep your head down. <laughs> By the way, curious, you've been using a lot of magic. How are you capable of doing that? He, he holds up his hands and, uh, they, and they quietly burn away uh, as you, you hear, you hear a slight sizzle of his soul burn around his fingers. Uh, mm. it, uh... It has, he emits a light screech passively. Um, <laughs> he looks over to you, opens his mouth. And as, uh, like, he gets a temporary look of recognition, sort of squints for a second, stares directly at you, this, this hulking figure that's literally alight with fire, and, uh, the necromancer, I'm gonna be honest, lets out a scream, <laughs> <laughs> and almost subconsciously turns, whirls his hands, and then fires off uh, a blast of energy directly at you uh, like a shotgun shell as you boom, fly straight backwards and slam into the walls as the necromancers uh, sort of roll backwards. They, they breach the wheat fields, fall back into the laser hallway. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not the intel I was looking for, but we have some. Oh, this is ridiculous. Are you okay, Mercy? Everybody roll forwards! Take cover! Hey, no, time out! Time out, time out, time out, time out! You approach, and uh, you're like, wait, 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 time out, time, time out, out, time, time out. out! You put your hands up, and the guy turns over and he looks at you, and uh, somehow, almost mm -hmm. identically, the man turns, <laughs> looks at you, and despite you being one, <laughs> like, one thing, Fifth is intimidating off the bat as Mercy <laughs> Looks was. Looks at this noodly I, wayfish man. I'm this like, oh, noodly oh. wayfish man, he turns, he screams, and he just <laughs> shoots you in the gut. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ow! Boom! Okay. You hit the wall. <laughs> Ooh. The oh, man okay. scrambles backwards and you hear them conspiratorially whispering in the bush. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh my god. Ow. Are you- are, are both of you okay? Okay. Magic oh, burns, God. and that is- it hurts. That is just a gunshot wound. <laughs> yep. You're telling me. Uh, I think it went all- I think it went all the way through. It's a- it's a clean entry-exit 
it's, it's good. That's good, right? That's good. <laughs> Ma- Marcus, come here for a moment. Uh, God, gonna, I hope that's good. <laughs> I'm going to put my hand on him, and I'm going to use an ability I haven't used in a long time. I'm going to use um, uh, my empathy ability, where I take the wound, because oh, I can hit a bullet wound mercy. better than you. Oh. That's my gunshot wound. Like, <laughs> what, do you, uh, why do you people keep arguing me when I I'm do just, this? I'm just being polite. Please take it away from me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. Give me that. He's Ow. bleeding out. He doesn't know what he's saying. <laughs> you, pull, um, you pull the gunshot wound from Marcus over to yourself. And indeed, you hear a... Uh, you hear a, uh, a, well, the usual alarm go off as as you use an ability that isn't sanctioned for bank usage. But at this point, you've already been shot twice. They, like, you you hear the loud, Bruh! and both these guys peek their heads out of the bush like prairie dogs see you over there and they go, hey, don't make me shoot. <laughs> I love an Eldritch Blast at them. <laughs> Do they notice me approaching? You start to approach. Uh, do you say anything? Do you call out to these people? <laughs> Your butts are weeds. And... <laughs> Look out. Gregor starts spinning his glaive like a windmill. <laughs> you walk forwards, and they turn, and... Uh, what clockwork? The third man turns, <laughs> and seeing this gigantic whirlwind traveling towards them and at, at the in the face of that utterly vicious taunt <laughs> he screams and takes the shot this time it pings off into the distance as you start to cut your way <laughs> forwards <laughs> they they uh they scramble backwards through the grass as you start to disrupt it back behind are you going to try to chop these individuals up if they don't move out of the way yeah Oh my god. Uh, you're, they're you're going to Bart Simpson right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they're not going to be stupid enough to just stay there, are they? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> no! <laughs> you didn't listen to my friend when he said time out. <laughs> hey, Gregor. You move forward, says uh, you, uh, you. You share that with him, and he, uh, he holds one hand out. It's like a I'm warning you, stop, hold it right there, no! And you take one step forward, slicing through the grass, and the man actually manages to tumble backwards over the edge of the fence as you finish carving up all the grass. He scrambles his way back over here, and uh, the two of them actually do something. They whip around, and they look at the door, and uh, you notice one of them pull out a key, put it in the door, and then shut it and go to the other side. And then you hear the same click of the lock as it secures itself behind them. And then you hear uh, them muffledly talking on the other side of the door. Hmm. <laughs> well, I'm done gardening. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful, Gregor. Uh, Gregor, on your way back over, you're like, well, I'm done gardening. And as you walk, you feel uh, magic whiz past you and slam into the nearby wall where it starts to burn away. Uh, the necromancer took a pot shot at you. <sighs> well, hmm. there's no more grass to cut, so I don't really know what kind of taunt to do to scare him away. <laughs> you try glaring at him. Hmm. Really let him at it. Use those eyebrows. Make those eyebrows pay for rent. <laughs> Gregor gathers all the fire in his belly and, with a deep breath, transfers it to his eyeballs and attempts to shoot it, metaphorically, at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Gregor, how angry are you? How much fire is in your belly? He's not that angry. <laughs> you trans... <laughs> You you transfer all of the, the deep rage in your body, which is d- not that much, to be real. Uh, your friend was just shot. He did get better. Uh, Mercy <laughs> did take the wound. She's tough. You're, yeah, she's used to it. She's used to it. You stare at this guy. You let him. You let him know with your entire face and your entire soul that you are upset. He looks at you, dead in the face. And then takes a half step backwards. And mm. as he does, Uh-oh. he puts foot onto ground, and you see his body suddenly sort of pierced through by a brilliant green beam. 
Oh. And a skeleton clatters to the ground in his face, uh, in its space, comically. Whoa. I, I gotta be careful with this power. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just dissolve a man? Wait, I, that... What? I didn't mean to. <laughs> okay. I, I, I'm closing my eyes while I... Yeah, you... <laughs> I'm talking to everyone. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. No. Uh, one of the necromancers said something about a laser hallway. I think that that might be at play here. Uh, those are your skeletons? Oh, I opened my eyes directly at Marcus. <laughs> uh, I, I do flinch. Yeah, feel that too. Visibly, it's like, ooh, ooh. That yeah, no, is a you, relief. <laughs> yeah, you gave a pretty nasty, disappointed mom stare, so. <laughs> oh, I wasn't even really either of those. <laughs> At least not much. <laughs> it's a little more impactful than you'd realize. Hmm. So, it looks like our options are... Hallway that turns you to bones. Mm -hmm. Locked door with two chuckle fucks. <laughs> and... Right. I don't know what's left. I think I see a break room over there, I say, pointing in this direction. <laughs> yeah, you do see what appears to be a waiting room. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> What's it like being Bones? You notice the skeleton. Sort of shimmy slightly. He's like... How'd, how'd you know? <laughs> that you're Bones? Yeah, uh, well, it, 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 <laughs> that I'm one of the animated skeletons and not one of the completely incidental human skeletons from over there. I didn't really realize that there were- Gregor knows many things. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no, like, these two skeletons, those were from uh, the guys who were just sl slinging magic two seconds ago. Yeah, they, mm. they, these aren't animated, these people are dead. <laughs> like, look Wait, oh. Are you not dead? Not anymore, no. I'm undead. No, he's re- it, 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 ah. Yeah, no, they're, they're ah. reanimated, right? Ah, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, see? Yeah. How is that? that Jaga. We're trying to decide which way to go, and if we're gonna be bones, I want to be informed. Okay, so uh, to speak about it existentially, it's not really reanimated. <laughs> it's like animated for the first time. Like reanimated would be like okay. you're you're a person, right? And then you come back as a skeleton, right? So you you've just always been a skeleton, then? exactly. Like I'm a different entity okay. embodying the skeletal structure of somebody who once lived. Yeah, I animated uh, for the first time. Yeah, okay. So you you can't Fair really enough. compare it to the experience of living as a human because you've never had that. No, not even once. Uh sure, sure. Uh, hmm. Okay, that that is help. Thank you. Now, uh, does if if we were to walk into that hallway and get zippity zapped like the that last necromancer, would that make us a reanimated skeleton or just a normal dead human skeleton? Normal like dead human ones? skeleton, and then you'd be taken to the Caravian Bone Wind and then animated as Ooh. a new entity. Yeah, it'd be it'd be it'd, the, it'd be the way that I happened, which is great in its own right. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you should consider walking into this hallway. You notice um, this skeleton actually. Hmm. Stumble his way in and, uh, no lasers activate. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna try something. So I notice that, um, yeah. and maybe this is just because of the asset, but yeah, yeah. there are these big steel plates on the ground that just have these, what look mm. like big stakes that, like, leave them in. Yes. Uh, am I able to twist the stakes out so that I just have a giant, sh like, thing of sheet metal, and then Ooh. I'm gonna, oh. like, lean it out into the laser room to see if... It if it gets hit yeah. by a laser, and if it does, oh. does it pierce? Ooh, will, yes. Or will it turn into bones? That is also a possibility. <laughs> this could, like, just calcify metal, which would be horrifying for yeah. me. Boning Ray! <laughs> Welcome to the Bone Zone! <laughs> Stone texture that just, uh, exists on the ground here. Does it, does it peel off? Is, yeah. it like, is it, like, textured like, uh, linoleum? It's linoleum, can, like, yeah. Uh, it's like, okay, I'm gonna start peeling that off to see what's under that. Oh, Carry okay, uh, your stuff, you, uh, mercy. you reach down, Marcus, <laughs> and you start to peel the linoleum off, and, uh, hold on. We'll come back to this, we'll come back to oh, this yeah, one. Yeah, There'll yeah. Be, it'll be, like, a cool payoff. Yeah, it'll be a cool <laughs> payoff, for sure. So, uh, Mercy, you... Take one step forwards, and as you go into the, or as you, uh, sort of place the, the dividing wall out here, you actually struggle with your wounds for a moment, and mm. you sort of lose hold of it, and it drops to the side, pitching lightly, like, towards one of the skeletons, crushing it beneath its weight, but you notice something. 
No laser activates. Nothing. Uh, hmm. It seems like it doesn't respond to inorganic things. Oh. oh. Well, wait a minute. We're mostly organic things, though. We uh. sure are. But... Hmm. And you're still, you're still organic, too, right? I mean, I know you have metal parts, but... I certainly should count as organic. I'd be a little surprised if I didn't. Oh, yeah. Marcus, you, um... You tug away at the linoleum and, uh... Oh, yes. Uh, beneath it, you sort of notice that there's a slightly uneven surface, and you're like, what the mm -hmm. fuck? And you're like, what, what, what is this? What are they using to pack this place? Um, I don't know how to say, uh... Looking underneath it, it's like... It's corn? Is this corn? There's, oh, yeah, no, like, like it's it some... You're like, oh, well, it's, it's, like, kind like, of, it's kind of like corn. It's kind of like corn. You pick it up, it's like a packing peanut, almost. Okay. But it's like corn-shaped. Right. Does it, I, I, does it taste like corn? You take a bite out of I it. I am going to pop one into my mouth. You pop it into your mouth. No, this is like, this is like industrial waste. This is like... Yeah, no, using actual corn would be way too... It would be no. way too biodegradable and climate friendly. Yeah, that's exactly it. Of these factions to if, use it. If you had to guess, this is probably some like wastage product that is definitely right. This is this is probably full of asbestos. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, I mean that that goes without saying. Yeah, that goes this, without saying. <laughs> this is the cereal I used to eat. <laughs> no, I don't think it is. I d uh, highly. And besides, we have no milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But this is my chance to jump in it. <laughs> okay. Um, I hold I'll, your breath while you do that. Definitely. Um, here, wear this protective mask and these goggles. Uh -huh. <laughs> do you have a spare Mercedes. one of those by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> Mercedes course, course. nursing a woundling yeah. as well. I'm sorry, we are not letting her do that. How? <laughs> I'm, well, I'm good. It's I'm good. Less dangerous than what you're doing, Mercedes. To be fair, and we stopped her from eating it. I'm also curious what it's like. Yeah, like, what do you think is beneath all the asbestos? Uh, even a betteress? I'm going in. <laughs> <laughs> Jumps.